Mwanamuziki Akothe kutoka hapa nchini Kenya bado anaendelea kuikashifu familia yake kwa kusababisha hasama mkubwa kati ya yeye na dadake mdogo anayejulikana kama Miss Nesego. Na mama huyu watoto watano kupitia kurasa zake za kijamii aliweza kufichua mambo mazito jinsi familia yake ilivyosababisha hasma kati ya yeye na Nyasego huku pia akimkashifu Nyasego kwa kumsengenya. Na hivi ndivyo Akothe alivyosema kupitia kurasa zake za kijamii. I will not break or damage my sister publicly. I was not born a vengeful person. I can't break my own project I actively believe in. But I am human. My family failed to intervene several times and the wound in my heart grew bigger. The distance between me and my daughter or younger sister grew bigger. In as much as she tried to cover up like there is nothing between me and her. Yes, there was a hole. I was always told. Akothe pia alizo kufichua jinsi dadake mdogo alivyo msengenya wakati ambapo alikuwa melazo hospitalini kwa miezi sita hivi. Huku wakifichua kwa mba dadake pia hakuweza kumtembelea hospitalini wakati ambapo Akothe alikuwa na ugua ugonjwa kusongwa na mawazo. Akisema hivi, I battled depression for over six months. I did not know what was eating me. Then while in hospital I received an information that my sister said I was pretending. This is what killed me completely when I got back to my senses. I found it difficult to accept it was a joke. Well, my sister has never visited me in any hospital, not in a bad way, but she must have traveled or so. Akothe pia ilieza kuongezea huku akifichua jinsi alivyo suluhisha maswala haya ama tetesi hizi kati ya yeye na dadake huko akifichua kwamba aliweza kumlisha dadake block kubwa na kumwandikia barua ya kwa nini ameamua kujitenga kabisa na maisha yake akisema hivi i wrote to my sister very well elaborate later as to why i'm packing my bags out of our relationship on 31st of december 2021 i collected courage and sent it to her then blocked her this damaged me too for losing a friend it was not easy at all either akothe pia aliweza kuongezea kwamba ameamua kumsamea dadake lakini bado anaongezea akisema hataweza kuhudhuria hafla yoyote ambayo imeweza kufanywa na dadake na pia yeye hataweza kumwalika dadake kwenye hafla yoyote ambayo yeye ameipanga akisema hivi i have publicly forgiven my sister she is and will still remain my blood but things will never ever be the same for this matter you won't see her on my functions or me in any of her functions however we remain blood we shall for sure meet in other family gatherings if they still feel i am part of them but if this message has also damaged the relationship between me and the rest of the innocent family members we dragged into our problems I will accept their decisions and the outcomes of how this will end. I had to do this to be free. Family members have killed each other for keeping a lot inside. Let it out and be free. It's the last time I've addressed this issue. Poleni, I figured out I could be the toxic one. Allow me to pack and leave. Ukiangalia maneno ya mwisho ya mwanamuziki huyu ni kama amemoa kujitenga kabisa na familia yake. Kumbuka kwamba Akothe anapanga kufanya harusi yake uh, mwaka ujao mwezi wa Oktoba. Ilhali dada yake pia anapanga kufanya harusi yake um, uh, mwezi wa Desemba mwaka huu. Uh, kuna vile Akothe amesema hataweza kuhudhuria hafla yoyote ambayo imefanywa na dada yake. Does that mean kwamba Akothe hataweza kuhudhuria pia harusi ya dada yake mdogo? na pia yeye kumbuka anafanya harusi mwaka ujao kwa hivyo inamaanisha pia yeye hataweza kumwalika dada yake mdogo kwenye harusi yake kumbuka harusi yake na yule mzungu wake kuna vile pia familia yake imekuwa ikimpinga sana huko akipigwa vita na sijui kama kwenye harusi hii ataweza kuwalika familia yake bado sifahamu anyway moni yenu ni gani kuhusu uh, visanga vya kothe na familia yake mweza tochia moni yako kwenye comment section upo thank you for watching let's me next time bye bye